this young man certainly does not need an introduction, but we are certainly going to give him one. This is Simon from Uneducated Economist and the keynote speaker on day one of the ORAT Las Vegas event on February 17th and 18th. A, he's agreed to come out. B, he's agreed to be a keynote speaker. And uh, we are so honored to have you there, Simon. Thank you so much. Wow, Mike, thank you. It's an honor to do this. I mean, to to be invited to come down and speak anywhere, let alone to come down and you know join such a great group like uh, like you have with the one rental at a time kind of kind of aspect of it. Man, I am super looking forward to this. So thank you very much for the invite. I got to tell you, of all my guests on the channel uh, who aren't regulars, right? There are some people that come back every week, as you know. You were the number one requested presenter. Uh, so when I reached out, when I reached out, I'm like, there's no chance Simon's going to say yes. He's so busy. And you said yes within 30 minutes of me asking, uh, which is pretty awesome. I just want to thank you for me to you for that and uh, pretty amazing stuff. Uh, so yeah. let's get into it. You have been really on something uh, on your channel, which I watch religiously, but let's step back and define it first for my audience who may not have heard of it about credible threats and specifically credible threats uh, for the Federal Reserve. So define what a credible threat is and let's start start digging in because I don't think a lot of people see what is happening. Yeah, credible threat theory. This is, um, this is one that takes a while. It goes back a ways, right? To really truly understand what the credible threat theory is about. Ultimately, the credible threat theory is when the Federal Reserve puts out the forward guidance that has the markets believing that they are going to behave in a particular way that then gets the markets to act as if the Federal Reserve has already done something. And we are experiencing this big time right now with the dropping of interest rates at the end of 2024. Now, where I got this credible threat theory from really steps back all the way to the early 2000s with the Ben Bernanke speech where he's talking about deflation and how to prevent it from ever taking place here in the United States. Because this was really the major problem for the Federal Reserve. A lot of people don't think that because, you know, we're very like, even I myself have a tendency to do this. We're very short view, right? We only see like kind of what's happening right now. And we think, oh, my gosh, this is this is everything, right? But really, it's a very long process that has taken place. And the Federal Reserve's major problem that they were experiencing is that they really couldn't get the inflation that they were expecting. I mean, even after the quantitative easing of one, two, three, and four, after the great financial crisis, the decade after that, the Federal Reserve barely achieved their 2% target. A couple of times they were able to get there, got it a little bit over, but for the most part, they failed to achieve the 2% target over that 10 years you know, after the great financial crisis. And this was their problem. They could not find inflation. And now it gets even deeper than this because really when you think about what the problem was as far as the low neutral interest rate and the Fed funds rate and all this stuff kind of hitting the lower bound of zero, this starts getting very complicated in its own, right? But if we take it back just a little bit to understand that the Federal Reserve had lost their monetary policy when they get to zero, but that's okay because they have the credible threat, right? right. Now, the credible threat, the easiest way to understand it is through a little story of a guy who invents a gold machine, right? Mm -hmm. So we imagine a guy, he invents a gold machine with this gold machine. He can produce as much gold at will, very little cost or energy going into it. And the moment that this information gets out to the markets, the price of gold would immediately start to plummet, right? Correct. Even before the guy produces a single ounce of gold or even has the machine to do it, mm -hmm. just the credible threat alone is enough to start moving the markets. And this is definitely what the monetary policy, the, 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 most prominent monetary policy coming from the Federal Reserve is this credible threat. 